McCain was, was considered to be, in the very beginning of all this, a kind of a washed up retread, has been candidate who missed his moment. Obama was uh, a rising star, but taken seriously as a future candidate. And what's really interesting is, is to compare the situation before and after, who these people were, or we thought they were, versus who they are now. Well, McCain, who has for years been uh, kind of the, the Republican that Democrats could love, earned a lot of that free-thinking reputation by going after the influences of K Street. Now it turns out that a lot of his top operatives are and have been not just lobbyists, but big-time lobbyists, in particular Charlie Black, who's his campaign advisor. One can only wonder how McCain is processing this, but it's a different McCain. McCain talking about speaking to foreign governments that we may not like. Well, this doesn't sound like the same John McCain who once upon a time dealt with the Vietnamese government when uh, many conservatives gave him a lot of heat for actually going there, shaking their hands, talking to these people who had tortured him. McCain, as he is, claims that that's the very last thing a president should be doing. Now we get to Obama. He, at the very beginning, came across as more of a pan-gender, pan-race, pan-religion, pan-class candidate. His opponents, particularly Hillary, uh, saw opportunities to gain support by shearing off parts of this support. Uh, white voters, who may have a problem with an African-American president, if they're reminded of it in a certain way. Women over a certain age. And then for racial reasons, the Jeremiah Wright event took him from mixed race to fixed race. And as the markets get defined, the candidates start to fragment. Will Obama be seen as an asterisk? A, f a footnote in history. McCain is sort of a cloven person, someone who has two sides that uh, could or perhaps could not meet, but for reasons that have everything to do with winning. He is at variance with himself. Perhaps it's a measure of how unsettled the country is right now that these two have emerged. They're both the underdogs. You know what's really lucky? That the two nominees are the easiest to draw. There is a god of caricature. <laughs>